Good morning, Monarch High School. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. I'm John Boehner. And I'm Barack Obama. And this is Sparta. No, this is Patrick. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. The rotation goes as the following. Period four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Attention students, the Husky Zone just received junior and senior eye black for the powder puff game. Come and get them while supplies last. Also available are pink breast cancer and pink camo eye black. Lunch special for today is Asian pork stir fry, noodle bowl, and oriental vegetables served over lo mein noodles. There will be a student council meeting today after school. All members meet at the mall entrance after school. Student yoga every Thursday, 2.45 to 3.45. Library classroom at the library classroom. No experience is necessary. Mats will be provided. Go to the main office and leave a compliment in the compliment box for a friend. There will be a boys lacrosse meeting today at 3 p.m. in the team room. All players interested should, should, should attend. Participate in Red Ribbon Week by wearing red on October 24th. The class that wears the most red will receive $200. The first yearbook committee meeting of the year will be held today, October 16th at 2.45 in the library. I forgot to bring a dress shirt, Meryl Sampson. And I don't own a nice dress shirt, Ben Rattier. And this is the HNN Sports Report. Starting off with boys soccer, who went 1-1 this week with a win against Cumberland. Matt Cabral scoring a hat trick and unfortunately losing to PCD. Football has been 1-1 one one since we last talked to you with their win coming over Charaho. And we have girls soccer winning 3-1 against Barrington with Michaela scoring a clip here. Second best in the country. Cross country wrapped up their regular season. Both teams are over 500 and they both will try to qualify for states at their class meet. And we got t girls tennis still going undefeated with a 13-0 win and going to playoffs. Volleyball struggles continue and they now stand at 1-12 in the season. And that's your Asian Sports Report. Back, Back to, the, to the desk. I'm Ron Burgundy. Stay classy, San Diego.